Hey everybody, it's your boy MC Amazing coming at you with yet another TV FGC news spot starting right now. For our first story, Association Fury Land is back with their second season of their Fury events and the lineup is looking pretty sick. Numerous games are in the lineup with tourneys spanning from January all the way to the beginning of May. Dragon Ball Fighters, Tekken 7, Street Fighter 5, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate, Soul Calibur 6, and Guilty Gear Strive were all announced for action in the upcoming months. Now there are three style tourneys they are running, which are their Invitational Solo Matches, Invitational 5v5 Matches, and their Fury Cup Online Open Bracket Tourney. There will be 14 Invitational events and 7 Fury Cup events. Each month, at least one game is played, but in most cases, two. These dates can be seen here with the graphic on the screen. For their Furyland Cup, 600 euros is on the line for their prize pool. Team of Fight Sessions, this will be more than likely another amazing event series ran for the European FGC. For our next story, the Queen of the Hill series has returned to finish off their Street Fighter V series. Oh yeah, and this time, crossplay is now included, but no Wi-Fi. Picking back up with their second qualifier, ladies are picked on Twitter to duke it out in a round robin style in hopes of qualifying for the series finale. Two queens will qualify for each qualifier. Full rules for the event can be seen in the images shown now or on their Twitter page. If you missed out on this last one and you want to join the action, their next and last qualifier happens on the 22nd of January, so don't miss the sign up for it that they will announce on their Twitter. With commentary from Kujo Kate, Yukinari, and Yasuko, the event is sure to be filled with colorful commentary along with hype matches. Are you going to take up the challenge? Let us know in the comment section down below. For our next story, Combat Championship Series is back with Season 2 of Thursday Night Throwdown, and you already know, Texas is about to do it big. MK11 on the 21st, Soul Calibur 6 on February 18th, Tekken 7 March 18th, and Guilty Gear Strive on April 22nd. Now the Mortal Kombat 11 tournament is cross-platform, has a 32-player cap, and the prize pool is through Match Reno. Registration is up right now, so go ahead and sign up for participation. No word yet on commentators, but knowing Combat Championship Series, you know you are in for a treat. Make sure you are one in that 32 player cap and have some great matches. For our next story, the reveal trailer for the King of Fighters 15 was announced and we are finally ecstatic to see it. Now we have a lot to cover, so get comfortable. After being delayed, it's finally here for us to consume. Kyo, Benamaru, Shune, K Dash, Leona, and Mai show off their moves in the trailer and it's looking pretty sick. The trailer lets us know that more news is coming out next week, but so far we have that the game is scheduled to release in 2021. Now after the trailer, we have the creative director and the producer for the game come on for some commentary. We're told that right now, as far as the game's development, they are right now focused on brushing up features and optimizing the game, but they are still shooting for that 2021 release date. They also told us that another trailer will be dropping next week, so stay tuned for that. Also, they let us know an animated short is coming as well. Next, they announced King of Fighters 14 Ultimate Edition with eight new DLC characters. You got Blue Mary, Yamazaki, my personally favorite character, by the way, Whip, Oswald, Vanessa, Hydern, Najd, and Rock Howard were announced. 10 DLC costumes and more content were also announced. Release dates are shown right here on the screen for the different areas. Next, King of Fighters 2002 Unlimited match was announced for the PS4. This will be released for rollback and the release date is to be announced. And finally, the DLC for the Season 3 of Samurai Showdown was announced. Cham Cham was announced coming out in mid-March 2021 and Hibiki was also announced with no release date. We also have two other characters coming to this season pass. They also let us know that they have added a guard crush mechanic to Samurai Showdown, which is new, so this is sure to spice things up. They also rebalanced the entire game and stopped weapons from disappearing off the stage. The updates are to be released with Cham Cham. Now this was a lot of info to consume, but it's been a long wait, so it's great that they came out with so much. Let us know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. Well everybody, this is it. It's the end of our TV FGC news spot for the week. As always, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to let people know about what we're doing here at TVFGC. 
And of course, as always, leave your comments, questions, and concerns in the comment section down below. And somebody will read them, not me of course. Why? Because I'm not really keen on reading comments until Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite has its resurgence within the community. All right, everybody, as always, it's your boy, MCE Amazing, saying love, peace, and hair grease, and we will see you next time.